Hello and good afternoon everyone. I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Don Watzel with your afternoon video update for Monday, February 15th. It's still cold outside, but thankfully, compared to Friday and the weekend, everyone across Wyoming is on the plus side of a zero, mainly in the single digits teens and even getting some mid-20s as of 3 o'clock this afternoon. That's a sharp contrast to what we had the past few days. The coldest temperatures of the season fell overhead during the night with clearing skies. In fact, several areas in central and northern Wyoming set new records. Among those, Casper setting a new record of minus 24 degrees air temperature for an overnight low. Buffalo also set their new record, dropping to minus 14, breaking their old record of minus 5, which was set back in 2007. In the meantime, we're going to be in a progressive northwesterly flow pattern as part of a long wave trough covering much of the central United States. We are going to see periods of moderate to heavy snow affect the mountain areas and eventually some light snow will move on to the plains. This will be the case starting in the west tonight, spreading statewide Tuesday and continuing into Wednesday. Then as we look past Wednesday, Towards the later part of the week, we're going to see strong wind gusts return as more moderate, milder Pacific air makes its way through. That'll support stronger gusts in the wind-prone areas along I-80 and I-25. Then, as we get into the weekend and early next week, we could see more widespread high wind events cover much of central and southern Wyoming as well as the northwest, and additional troughs of low pressure may bring more snow possibly accumulating with a fast-moving upper trough coming in for the day on a Saturday. In the meantime, here's what we have through tonight. Staying mainly dry and cold over the east, northeast, and north-central portions of Wyoming. We will have brisk winds overnight. Air temps will fall to the single digits above zero, and that should bring wind chills back below zero, although not nearly as bad as what we had through the weekend. Also, as we get to the south, and southwestern part of the state, areas of light snow will start to impact the plains and surrounding valleys with more moderate snow in the southern mountains and moderate to heavy snow for the Tetons, Absarokas, and other western mountain ranges. Could see up to a foot or so through early Tuesday in the higher elevations, while Jackson Hole and surrounding other valleys, including Teton Pass and Togety Pass, possibly get about three to six inches through tomorrow morning. Everyone else in the light shaded blue will see mainly a trace to about two inches of new snow. Also, during the evening and especially the overnight, could see some westerly wind gusts get around 35 to 45 miles an hour. We've already seen some stronger gusts over 30 along the wind prone sections of I-80 and also heading north towards the south end of Casper. With recent snowfall and any new light snow that comes in tonight, could see some areas of blowing snow that will affect I-80, especially the higher elevations near Walcott Junction through Elk Mountain and Arlington. Then for Tuesday, light snow chances will spread nearly statewide. Obviously, it does not mean everyone's going to get light snow, but the chance for at least a trace to an inch or two will be there over the plains and some of the higher elevations of Wyoming. Meanwhile, strong disturbances will affect the mountain areas, especially the western-facing slopes, and that will give the Bighorns, Snowy and Sierra Madres, and western mountain ranges a good chance for additional snow with accumulations of about 3 to 6 inches for the Bighorns, additional snow for the Southern Mountains, and another 4 to 8 for the mountains in the west with 2 to 4 in the valleys. As we get into Wednesday, we will remain in our similar pattern, and that could keep some periods of light to occasionally moderate snow over some of the higher elevations of eastern and southeast Wyoming. This could include the northern Laramie Range, higher elevations of I-80 between Rollins and Cheyenne. This could also give us some breezy winds along the wind-prone areas of southeastern Wyoming. By Friday, could see some uh, high wind events, not necessarily widespread at first, but the long-range models are looking at the hint of a widespread high wind event affecting the western mountain ranges from Cody south to South Pass, also I-80 and I-25 in the adjacent plains. That would be most likely Sunday afternoon into early Monday. Backing up a day or so, another trough could affect the state with some more snow, possible accumulations in central areas, including south pass to northern sections of I-25. We'll try to break down some of those details with tomorrow's video. In the meantime, thanks for listening and watching, and have a great day.